So the film festival this year is, it's always exciting, but this year uh, being a woman, it's uh, particularly exciting and invigorating to um, have the festival recognize all these fil female filmmakers. I didn't realize it at first that it was all female filmmakers until that big piece came out. And I was so stoked because it's like normally you're coming to festivals and it is a bunch of dudes and then you're like the token like unicorn like running through. I'm like, I'm a lady, I could do it too. For this year's Trevor City Film Festival, being focused on women for the 100th anniversary of the State Theater, I think it's a historic moment. I think that Michael Moore is doing something historic by bringing together women filmmakers at this festival. Women filmmakers have historically been left out of the picture. We've been underfunded. We haven't been allowed into the halls of power. I think the biggest problem is like women aren't encouraged as much to be directors. When guys say they want to direct a film, it's like, go do it. But when a girl or a lady says it, there's like, we're like, are you sure? Like, is this a good idea for you? So the more that you put it out there that it is a thing and it's not something you should be questioning yourself about, it's just because you're another human that wants to make a movie. Um, and so it's nice to meet more of those ladies. It's a girl power on so many levels and having their visions, uh, their voices heard by so many people, it's really important. It's amazing actually. It's, it's an awesome experience and I don't know who else has done this. Yes, we are out here. There are women directors. We do have talent. We do have ability. We need the opportunity. And thank you, Michael Moore, for giving it to us. We really appreciate it. Well, I'm always excited to see these uh, filmmakers who had to really go down a long, tough road to get their movies made, and I'm always fascinated by what that backstory is. You know, what were the challenges that they had to face getting their movies made? And, and it was an impressive group because we had some actresses and we also had some great documentary and fiction filmmakers. But I think what's really difficult is, is what they have to do to sustain careers for a long time. A lot of these women have other sources of income and they talked about that. They, they have to make their living not making movies. And what is it that holds women back? You know, is there something wrong with them? Is there something wrong with the system? So what we talked about today was that the, there are huge structural problems, that, is, that there are so many people who just don't believe that women have the confidence and the competence to be able to direct films. That's the real issue. And I think that there's just this unconscious bias. You know, women will go with men to see subjects that are interesting to men more than men will go to subjects that are interesting to women. And, and it's just the way our, our culture is, is biased.